and welcome back. This is Baller Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. My opponent in this upcoming match is Scotty. Scotty is first in his gold division. Looks like he just got it. He has 2,403 points in gold division with 284 wins and 234 losses. And here we are in the game. I have spawned as the Red Terran in the Northwest up against Scotty. He is a blue Protoss player in the Southeast. This is... holy crap, what is he doing? Look at that APM. Oh my gosh, that's insane. This is the first game that I played on the new patch. Just so happened to be a good game, so I will be broadcasting it. You can tell it's a new patch because I no longer have my overlay. There's no watermark here. There's no banner over here. I don't know how I feel about that. Part of me says that that's a really good thing. You know, I no longer have to do a lot of editing work. But the other part of me says that I liked having a little personal touch on my videos, but... Hopefully my voice is enough to give it that personal touch. Yes, these are still my videos, you can tell, because my voice is always the same. Except when it's different, which is always. And Chrono Boost going down on the Nexus, getting to get those probes out as soon as possible. always like to know where those Protoss players use that. Here I do go around my base. Oh man, this is just a force of habit now against Protoss players on jungle base. And it's not always the same SCV, it's not always the same time, but before that barracks is finished, I want to know if there's anything in here. And usually there isn't, but occasionally there will be, and I'll be like, ah, I gotcha! Oh, I'm so sick of those proxies on this map against the Protoss player. Colonel Boo's still going down on the Nexus, so he is pumping out SCVs like nobody's business. That is why this gateway is only a few seconds ahead of the barracks. It looks like about seven seconds. And here I go scout into his base, so I do see the gateway. I do see it's a little bit later than I'm used to seeing, so I assume that he's going for a massive economic build here. Uh, maybe I'm giving myself too much credit, though, and I'm like, oh, yeah, gateway, okay, no forge. Cybernetics core going up immediately afterwards, which does show that it's not going to be any sort of zealot push. Not that I've seen a zealot push in ages, except of course with the proxy gateways. Oh, like right there, right there. Oh, I hate them so much. And here, I'm taking my SCV back to my base. I'm, and I got enough information out of them, and I'm sick of being attacked. Still Oh, Chrono boosting the Nexus. He's doing an okay job of that. He's falling a little bit behind. But the assimilator is on the way. A second assimilator, so even more proving that he is going for a tech build. Here I stop the SCV. I don't want him getting in my base. So I stop him in the middle of the ramp in range of the Marines, start getting some kills down, and I am back in my normal build. I should be getting, oh, no, I was about to say, should be getting a second barracks up, but no, I had to spend that minerals, those minerals, on the SCV. Stalker is out. I was about to say it was on the way, but it finished while I was in the middle of talking about that. His APM is still really high. It got a lot lower overall, but, yeah, going up all over the place. Pylon gateway on the way. Warp gate technology is being researched. Is he chrono boosting that? No. No. In fact, he's not doing anything with the Nexus right now. There we go, chrono boosting the Cybernetics core. But no probe still. No probe. Test Stalker coming out, I guess, to make sure that I have something. I do have something. I have three Marines. Uh, Marauders are not on the way yet. Those three marines should be able to handle it, but I won't even be able to find out because he ran away. Oh, nope, coming back up. Oh, but f two more spawned out, and he's... No, there's no way he can handle five marines all by himself. Marauder is on the way. Robotics facility is on the way as well. So we should be seeing a fast observer would be my guess. You never know, we could be seeing a fast colossus. Yeah, I wouldn't put it past them, but I do scan, so I am able to see that robotics facility is on the way, and I hate those observers so much that it tells me 
I need to get an engineering bay. So I definitely will be getting that eventually once I have enough money to get that because I want a missile turret up. Oh, uh, but it's not even going to be an observer. It looks like it's going to be straight into the fast Colossus. So that is what the build was, it looks like. It was always geared towards the fast Colossus. That's why there's not many stalkers out here. There is a sentry out uh, just to guard the ramp, I would assume. But, oh, there we go, observer. So I still don't know what I'm talking about, which is always awesome to find out when I'm watching the replays. I hate observers because I don't get them, so I am jealous. And the observer says, ah, I want to go right there. Warp gate technology is finished. Nexus is on the way. Everything is morphed into... There's only two? He only has, he only has two gateways, so he's at two gate robo robotics bay. Here I put up... Uh, no, just a marine. Just, uh, as as usual, want to make sure that nobody's going to my back door, so I cork it up. And still no engineering bay. This is really late. I should have that done by now, but I've gone for the two, the early gas, so it is holding me back right now. I have way too much gas. I went for it too early, in fact. Combat shield is on the way, but still no engineering bay, so he, the observer is really able just to find out everything that's going on here. That's why I hate it so much. And a Colossus is now being warped in with Chrono Boost. Does it warp in? Yes, it warps in. And here I'm going for my first push. And of course the Observer is watching it the entire time. So it must be the other game where I get the missile turret. Engineering Bay is on the way. So definitely about the seven minute mark. You want to get that mis first missile turret up guarding uh, your army just in case an Observer should happen to come by and he's not paying attention to it. You can get some easy paw shots, even maybe kill it before it dies. Kill it before it dies? Before it spots you and kills you. That is what I meant to say. I swears. And I, and I said it. Oh, that was horrible. Did you see that? Okay, so he puts down a force field and then I stim up. It was awful. But then he had a horrible micro on the Colossus. He put it out there to die because, of course, that thing has no defense. And here, I'm able to get that, that zealot, and I should be running away. I should be running back to my base. There's really nothing I can do uh, with those sentries out and doing damage. And am I doing that? Yes, I am, and the observer knows that. But these guys were following it for a second. They decided against it, though. Engineering Bay is up. Researching weapons level 1. Because I love that weapon, weapons level 1 so much that I often forget to get... The weapon, weapon uh, armor level one immediately afterwards. Command center is on the way. An observer spots my army once again, so he knows exactly what I have. He knows that he should probably get an immortal after this one, after that Colossus came out. But no, no, he d he has had this expansion up for quite some time. Oh my gosh, look at that! But he's got the minerals for it. And it's not like you know because he's not spending it elsewhere, because he's on two-gate robo still. Still don't see anything else. Doesn't He's not even making anything yet. How, mu how much longer is there on the cooldown? He's The cooldown's up. He, but he's supply locked, so he can't build anything. So boom, boom, two pylons. And here I went for the destructible rocks. Now I don't know if you guys know that. If you just attack the destructible rocks, they will go here to attack it. Which is not what I wanted to do. I wanted to go here to attack it, so I had to go around the long ways to do that. But he can see that because he has the observer on me at all times. So he will be able to see that I am going for the rocks here. And here, I'm trying to focus down the Colossus, and there it goes. So now I don't really care. Let's just take out everything he's got. Did I stim up for that? I did. But, so it's a little bit of a wasted stim, but I wanted that Colossus to die, so I'm able to take out the rocks. He's backed up, he doesn't have that much left. He is very gas heavy, but I have a far larger army. Taking out the pylon, so... 
he can't reinforce immediately, he will have to bring guys around back. The Marauders are doing a lot of damage here. Oh, the Zealot did get a kill before it died, and then these guys will clean up and die. Who was I talking about? I am still exhausted, I'll be honest. Uh, this was the first week. I do want to apologize. Do I want to apologize? Yeah. I probably might have had time to make a video this week for Saturday, I believe, is the day that I won't have a video. But, unfortunately, I, I was sick. I was sick-ish. I, I, I was too sick to record, but not sick enough to, to stop playing, if that makes sense. It was weird. So I did get a lot of playing done, but I didn't get any recording done, so I will get as much recording done today as I can. Holy crap. Twilight Council and four gateways and a forge. That is insane. That is how far behind he was in his macro, so I should have been pushing. These guys should have been reinforcing. They should have come up. I do finally get that missile turret up. Where is that detector? Or er, did the detector? Where is the observer? The I know. I wish I could just click on it. Oh. So we had to build a new one? That's what it looks like. Siege tank is up. But he is going for his third base here. Meanwhile, I still haven't gotten any gas out of my second right now. I am not in that much need of gas. What I need right now are minerals, so that is what I'm getting. Second siege tank is out. And he apparently wants to dance with this other siege tank who's just spinning in circles. In terms of army, I have the clear lead here if I... Yeah, I mean, that's almost a thousand minerals t as opposed to 200 gas. So even though he's more gas heavy, I know this, this is a larger army. As long as he can keep this Colossus behind all these stalkers, though, he should be in good shape. The Observer does see that I do have the expansion. I'm still... Eh, well, now I'm oversaturated now that that last mineral patch did go down. So I need to transfer over here, but I'm not doing that yet. He is getting a massive... Well, massive amount of buildings here, but really it's only three pylons and three pho photon cannons along with his expansion and the two assimilators, so that is a lot of work for that one probe to do. Hopefully he can just call things in and doesn't have to wait for people to bring it to him. Cyanic Storm is being researched. That is a great technique. I, I played this 2v2 against uh, two Platinum players, it turned out, but somehow they were still on the Bronze Ladder. I don't know how that worked out. Battle going down. I do stim up, trying to focus down a couple of those Colossus, and my mouse just went crazy there for a second, so let's try to get back in. And the Siege Tanks are now up. They should be doing massive amounts of damage to these guys, but it was a little bit late, so these guys only get two kills. And Archon is out. Ah, oh, Archons. So I do survive with quite a bit of health, not much, uh, not much damage on the tanks, so I am happy about that. He apparently needs gas. That is what he is going for. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. So I'm moving out. No observer on this army. He does have a few stalkers in here, but hopefully if I can position my tanks correctly, this will be game over right here. I still have a few in my base. I need those guys up front immediately, but I don't know that yet. Oh, not even getting a Psy Storm off. What are you doing, man? It's it's dawn. It was finished, but he's getting the Archon. He never went for the Psy Storm. I never knew he had it. S you know, still. So an Archon is out. I don't know how I feel about Archons. I loved getting Archons as a Protoss player in StarCraft 1. I, I don't know how effective they were, but they, they seemed like the end game, you know, Archons and Carriers. What you gonna do now? But now they're, I don't know, they're kind of like support units. Here we go, Psy Storm did finally go down. And then the High Templar died. Siege tanks doing massive amounts of damage to both sides. So whose side are you guys on, Siege tanks? So here I back up, and I'm on Siege because, of course, they can't attack things that are right next to them. I back up 
the medevacs and boom there's a there's a reinforcing army once again very late and nope just stopping right there there we go so i am able to take out one of the warp gates starting to take out the pylons psi storm going down once again and i moved these guys out but the siege tanks did do get a lot of damage done to them two more High Templar is warped in along with the Colossus, but he feels that it is it for him. That That's game. Oh, I am getting a third expansion. Neither one of us spent our minerals very well, did we? No. N no. Ugh. But this was the first game of the day for me, so it was uh, kind of... I'm not very good on the first, day, the first game of the day. Oh, that's pathetic. All these guys... All of them are right there. All of those guys are right there. What am I doing? He did have... I mean, he was racking in a lot of money. He should have spent a lot more than I did. He did. He had more resources. He spent more of it. But I won. I assume it's because of upgrades. I mean, Colossus, they they had the, the range upgrade, right? The Thermal Lance. Which that is not. That's Cliff Walk. But he had the thermal lance upgrade. Uh, you can see the little yellow nine right there. But he never got he never got anything out of the forge. That that, and the robotics bay. You know, he could have gotten what the movement speed of observers. Not the board prism, but he never got that. He could have gotten the charge. Could have gotten the blink. Uh, he did get the high templar. So I caught him in the middle of a tech up, and I was able to take advantage of that. But really, you know, if he had spent all of this then then he probably would have won so that's the game hope you guys enjoyed it hope you laughed hope you learned hope to see you next time thanks for watching